What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the Auto Shop Life. Just hanging out with me, Jim, GRC54. So today I want to do kind of a, kind of a fun one, kind of stuff that I'm into. You know, I'm not only into running a business, being a mechanic, all that stuff, I'm into a lot of tech. You know, and obviously you can integrate, you know, being a mechanic and the new technology that comes out. You guys know I stress that on the channel, all that stuff, but I want to go over a couple things that we use Amazon, Alexa, and Google Assistant here at the shop. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so jumping in it, you guys can see in the title, I hired Alexa and Google Assistant here at the shop. And what I mean by that is, you know, you can probably see them turning on or see them in the background. We got Alexa right here, and we got the, the Google Assistant in the corner there. I don't know if you can see it right above the phone, but I do utilize these things. I have them in my toolbox. I've had them in there a while. You guys can see probably in some of the older videos, you know, they are in the back and all that stuff at all times. but. Some of the tricks, you know, some of the reasons I use them here at the shop, not only to control, you know, maybe the lights on my box or, you know, getting information off them, ordering stuff, whatever it is, the same stuff I use for at the house, I use it here at the shop too, in a different sense as to make my job easier. Alexa, turn box on. Okay. Alexa, set box red. Now you guys know a few months ago or maybe six or seven months ago, we did a video on the apps that help you be a mechanic. I'll put a, I'll put a link up top here. This is you know, tech that makes you a better mechanic being Alexa and Google and the things I use it for. Got a couple clips here, some of the things I use it for. Hey Google, how much oil does a 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan take? On the website vehiclehistory.com, they say, the 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan has an engine oil capacity of 5.0 quarts for the 3.3L and 3.7L engines. Alexa, what's 25 foot-pounds converted to inch-pounds? 25 foot-pounds force is 300 inch-pounds force. Hey Google, Google P0171. On the website autoblog.com, they say, the P0171 code means that, on the first bank of the engine, the fuel system is running weak or a vacuum leak exists near this side of the engine. On the website FIIX.io, they say, Your engine runs lean if your air-to-fuel mixture is too light. This means that the fuel in your ignition chamber is being igniting with too much air or too little fuel. You know, finding tools, looking up oil spec, ordering stuff, you know, um pretty much information to, you know, calculate, you know, inch pounds to convert inch pounds to foot pounds to convert millimeter or inches to millimeters because a lot of those European cars measure their rotors in millimeters. Alexa, what's 11 inches to millimeters? 11 inches is 279.4 millimeters. 279.4. Living here in the U.S., we don't use, you know, inches, centimeters. You know, I know millimeters, but I don't have a measuring tape, or if you don't have a measuring tape, you're measuring in inches, you could convert it over so you can find the right size rotors, whatever it is. Anything you could wrap your mind around to make, you know, a digital assistant work for you to make your job easier makes you a better mechanic. You can get done, stuff done more efficiently, you know, get the information here at your fingertips as opposed to, you know, going all the way to the computer, booting up the computer, you know, looking up Google right away on either a laptop or your phone or whatever it is. Some companies don't want you having a phone out, you know, so not only while you're streaming music on your device. Hey Google, resume music. You could, you know, pause it, hey Alexa, you know, let me know how much oil this car takes. And some of it works, I've noticed through testing, some of it she does work, some of it does. They do have skills, obviously, if you guys have Alexas, you know, I'm not saying a video about Alexa in general, it's just a video about, you know, the things I use it for, tips out there, maybe some of you guys didn't think about it, but 
We do use Alexa here in the shop. I got the Google Assistant for Christmas. I do now use that. Which one do I like more? I don't really know some stuff. Obviously Google's newer, a lot of stuff Alexa could do that Google can't do, but there is some stuff Google does that Alexa doesn't do. So show you guys a couple of clips, some of the things that I, I use Alexa for and Google for. Alexa, order me some flexible hose clamp pliers. One moment. Showing the top results for flexible hose clamp pliers. Alexa, where's my order I placed yesterday? A delivery for an order placed yesterday should arrive Monday, January 6th. Alexa, order a box of disposable work gloves. Showing the top results for disposable work gloves. Amazon's choices, GNF string knit palm, latex dip nitrile coated work gloves. It's $7.99. Try saying things like, show me number one. Alexa, show me number two. Alexa, add to cart. Sure, add it to cart. Another one is obviously finding tools. <sighs> Alexa, have Tile find my socket. Okay. Here's Tile. I'm ringing your socket. How'd you get up there? Funny one here, you can never find that 10 millimeter socket, so have the tile on the case, get Alexa to find it for you, get it to beep. But you know, not only for sockets, you know, you not only use those things for sockets, obviously that's just a joke, but you know, putting on some of the bigger tools that or tools that you have a problem with walking away, or maybe another tech that you work with likes to use a lot, you can never find it because they put it away in the wrong spot. Throw a tile on it, you know, have Alexa start beeping it, or you could even do it off your smartphone, you can find out where it is, or more expensive tools like scanners and things like that, just you know, with that tile, anything that walks out of the shop, you know, you could find it. So you not only find your keys, your cell phone, whatever it is, you know, that's more of a plug for tile as a whole, but you could use Alexa to find them instead of busting out a phone or going on a computer or whatever. You know, you just say, hey, hey Alexa, where's my socket? So pretty much the same thing you use these devices at the house or wherever you use them. If you use them, you can use them here at the shop. You know, obviously the big two that I use these things for is playing, you know, streaming music all day long at the shop, you know, and I bounce back and forth. The Google is really cool because it plays video with it. You know, not that I'm standing in front of my box when I'm supposed to be working watching videos, but that's pretty cool. And then, you know, Alexa, you get your playlist going and all that stuff, stream some good music during the day. Or if you got customers here, obviously, Keep the stuff, you know, kid friendly, keep the stuff shop friendly, you know, you don't have explicit music on there, all that stuff. You could kind of program it in there and, uh, you know, only listen to what you want to listen to. Because I'd like to say, you know, some of my playlist isn't really shop friendly, but, you know, with that, with Alexa, you could kind of program it and make it, hey, you know, play my, play my work music or play my home music and things like that. So really cool, really cool stuff. Just a few tips and tricks out there. You guys, you guys know if I had the echo locks on this toolbox, you better believe that you know Alexa would be unlocking and locking this toolbox just like she locks and unlocks my doors, which brings me to another one, which is nice because obviously I'm at the shop 14 hours a day sometimes. Obviously my wife works here, my kids. So I'll get a knock at the door, got the ring doorbell, you know, and then I can answer the ring doorbell standing right here in front of my toolbox just by saying, Alexa, show me front door. 
So Ben, you guys can see in the background, I'm not really sure if you guys are catching that on the screen, but you can see my front door there. I can talk, I can then talk to him standing here at my toolbox. So, you know, if I get a UPS package or I get a delivery during the day while I'm at the shop, they ring the ring doorbell. I could get to the box and, you know, answer it. My kids call me from it while I'm at the shop. They could see me working. They could talk to Lauren while they're here at the shop because I do have another one at home. The same thing with the Google. So a lot of nice stuff you could integrate. Obviously, being a mechanic, the big ones are, you know, the information right at your fingertips. You want to do a quick Google search on an engine code or what have you or things like that. What would be cool, advance into the future out there, it'd be nice to start bringing up, like, maybe wiring diagrams or something for these cars. They should make an Alexa app out there for like wiring diagrams or some stuff like pull up, pull up an Identifix right off Alexa and get some information off it. That would be really cool. Amazon, if you're out there watching this video, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Get information as you need it. Uh, speaking of the devil, we got Amazon passing by the house now. But that's a quick one. Get this one wrapped up, guys. You know, use your imagination. You know, anything you could use this for. Obviously, if your shop or work permits it, you know, grab an, uh, grab an Alexa or a Google. You know, see what could help you be a mechanic. Mess around with it. Obviously, just a playlist and, you know, controlling my box lights and things like that is cool enough. But being able to just walk up to my toolbox, grab some information, you know, through saying it and get the information as needed instead of busting out your phone with greasy hands and all that stuff and flipping through Google and all that stuff. Just, you know, virtually tell her, virtually say, hey, Google, how much oil does it take on such and such car? You know, the information's there. Use it where you can. My quick tips on there. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.